Blue Jays home opener. Come and on. it's going to be a big day in the city of Toronto. Uh, we can confirm Rogers Centre is still there. Yeah. Still there. Uh, still there. Three weeks from today, the new Blue on Jays. New the inside? Apparently, yes, it's new. We'll be live. And breaking news, uh, BT will be live from Rogers Center that morning. Wow. Monday, April 8th. Yeah. Uh, it's one of my favorite shows of the year. Oh, oh you, haven't, you haven't done this no, yet. No, I haven't done it yet. Imagine having Rogers Center to yourself. I can't. That's our show. And I love it. <laughs> it's, it and the Jays have been amazing. Yeah. So that's three weeks from today. We can confirm we're going to be there. Kevin Frechette, supervising producer, thank you very much for that. Uh, the Jays do begin Thursday, March the 28th proper. That's when their season actually begins. They're going to be on the road for a bit. They're home April 8th. Uh, some news and notes from spring training. Joey Votto, we talked about last week. Yeah, we did. One, one of the great Jays of all time. He signed a minor league deal. Yeah. His first at bat of spring training proper yesterday, he did this. Now the first pitch from Wheeler into the air to left center field Pache again it's going to be over his head and it's off the top of the wall nope now they're going to call a home run they're going to say a home, home run. run look at that first at bat home run now when he got back to the dugout and I'm not making this up he rolled his ankle on a bat that was on the floor no <laughs> no, I'm no no is he okay he's okay, he's okay. he says he's okay, okay. <laughs> they pulled him. they pulled him from the game he says he's fine. Oh. The Jays say he's fine. And whenever the Jays say you're fine, you're always really good. It's true. Well, maybe that's the reason to bring the Blazer to spring training. The home run blazer. <laughs> yeah. We had this conversation. Right? If you put the Blazer yeah. on, he wouldn't have been messing with the bat on the floor. So he's a, been okay. he's a six-time All-Star, former National League MVP. That's, that's a pretty good start for a guy that hasn't had a proper spring training. He's going to have to make the team. Mm -hmm. He might have to go down to AAA for a little bit. But it's the story, Sid. It's the story. And sometimes the story fuels the confidence and the, the ability to go. And part of the story, a Tobacco native, Joey Votto, which I should have said right off the front. I didn't. That lends to that story. Mm -hmm. The other aspect of the Jays, and, and this is really good news. Yeah, this is. Uh, Eric Swanson is a relief pitcher for the Jays. Mm -hmm. And one of the, the wilder stories of this entire spring training is his son, Toby, uh, was hit by a car last month. Oh, God. So Toby is making a positive recovery. Toby's four years old. He had to be airlifted to hospital when that happened, but he's now at a hospital, and he got to see his dad play in Florida this past wow. weekend. So to the Swanson family, oh, we just so want to say we're thinking of you. Yeah. We're thinking of you. So glad that that recovery is coming along. What a, what a great yeah. kid. What a tough kid. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and, and since we're on the topic of families and whatnot, we have a second here. Uh, condolences to uh, R.J. Barrett and yes. Rowan Barrett and the Barrett Gosh. family. Um, RJ lost his uh, his younger brother recently and uh, right now details are obviously very very private mm -hmm. we just want to send our best to the Baird family who are incredible incredible folks incredible, incredible. people yeah uh, one can only imagine what this feels like in that family yeah uh, but to, to, the, to the Barrett's we just want to send our best and this is an incredibly difficult time but God bless each and every one of you mm -hmm. we are thinking of you basketball fans thinking of you and uh, we are here if you need anything God bless each and every one of you. it's eight o'clock good morning you're watching